Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the creator behind Lily Rose Craft Room. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about Creative Fabrica's Studio. And what Studio is, it's a designing software where you can create anything that you'd like from posters to flyers to birthday invitations, tumbler designs, mug designs. You can even design products for print on demand websites and even make designs for social medias or websites like if you're running sales. This software is amazing and I'm gonna show you guys a walkthrough of it, how easy it is to use and I'm gonna also show you guys how easy it is to create a basic tumbler design. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you guys don't miss on any new videos. All right, let's get started. So to start off, Creative Fabrica Studio is free to use, but I did notice that some graphics are reserved for pro users. So if you have a Creative Fabrica membership already, you get to use the Studio Pro at no additional cost. So that's a good thing. And if you don't have a Creative Fabrica membership, I do have a free trial link in the description below. You get one free month. So definitely check that out. I really recommend Creative Fabrica. There's so many benefits to having the membership. One, it's super cheap and then you get unlimited downloads to different fonts, over 8 million different designs, classes, and now you're able to use the pro version of Studio. Hey, it doesn't get any better than that. To access Studio, it's right in the homepage of Creative Fabrica where it says Studio. You're just going to click Design Now and it's going to take you to this website that tells you a little bit about Studio. And we're going to select Start Designing. Then it's gonna take you to your homepage of your project. So where it says my recent projects, that's gonna be all the projects that you've been working on. So there's a little one that I was playing around with and then it gives you popular templates of the week. To make your new design, you're going to select that purple button on the right hand side and then you're able to select from different size templates. Like for this one, you have a flyer, a poster card. If you go under print, you have um, a size A4 paper and magazine, note cards, a photo book, just different sizes you can use. On craft products, you have a mug, acrylic tumbler, um, a scrapbook. I do recommend double checking the size just to make sure that it matches your size. And then on the print on demand, they have the templates for Amazon t-shirts, a Printify t-shirt, Awkward Styles t-shirt. So that's pretty cool that those sizes are already there for you to choose. Next is the social media tab. So you have Instagram, Instagram picture, the reel. So if you want to design like a cover for your reel or a Facebook cover. So those are options. And then you have your online slash digital. So you can make a Etsy cover shop, email newsletter, a phone wallpaper, even ads. This is another cool one, a wedding. So you have your seating chart the size for the save the date, standard card, thank you cards, um, table numbers. So different, um, you know, different size templates for you to use. Next is the business section. So there you can have a template for a business card or a letter or a resume. So those are really cool size templates that they offer. And you also have the option to make a custom size. So this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna change the unit to inches and I'm gonna be designing on a letter size paper so I can make my tumbler wrap. So I'm gonna change the width of that to a landscape size of 11.8.5 for a landscape letter size. Then we're gonna select create new design. So next it's going to bring you to the design page. So this is where you're gonna start designing. So I'm just gonna walk you through all the sections and show you what they are and what they mean. This stacked icon, that's gonna be your layers panel. And then the one next to it is going to be your sizing panel. So if you click X, you're always able to bring it back by selecting that little card panel. Same with the layers. If you accidentally X out of it, you can always click that stacked icon to bring it back. So on this template section, you're able to select a template and design it however you would like. I did notice there's a lot more invitation templates like graduation, wedding, party more than other types of different templates. And I'm thinking because this software is only about three months old, so as the time goes by, I'm sure they're gonna add some more different designs and more different templates 
um, so you have more options. Next, we're gonna go over to the graphics tab and once we click it, they have a bunch of different PNGs, a bunch of different cute ones. And you could just scroll down and then see what's popular on that homepage. And if you have something specific in mind, you can always search for it. Like for example, I'm gonna search hearts. So it's gonna give me all the images that are tagged with hearts. Next, we're gonna go over to the text icon and we're gonna select that and then select add text field. So when you do this, you're able to write in whatever you want here. And then you're also able to change the font. So there's a lot of different fonts that you're able to choose from. Then there's also a color section so you can change your text color to whatever color you like or if you have a specific color in mind you're able to type in that hex code then here at the top you're able to adjust the font size or you can just drag the box to make it larger then we have the transparency bar so you're able to adjust the opacity of the text and also on the border way you're able to adjust the offset of it so you can change the color as well and make it thicker or thinner to however you'd like it Next, with that icon where it says transformation, you're able to make the text curved if you like, and you're able to adjust how curved you want it. Next, we're gonna go over to the elements icon. And what these are, these are like little, little shapes that you can give to your design to like make it pop. So with these, you're able to change the color. I selected the line. So we're able to adjust the line to make it longer or shorter. And then we're also able to change the color of it. Then we can also change the transparency or the opacity of the line. So we could either make it a little bit more see-through or all the way dark and not see-through. So those are different options. And there's also a duplicate button. So if you wanted to make more lines, you would just select your duplicate as many times as you want. Next, we're gonna go to the photos icon. So this is gonna give you a bunch of different stock pictures. Like if you're working on an invitation or a flyer or like a sale or something and you just wanted to put like stock pictures this is where you would find it and you can also use the search bar for search for something um, in particular like for example i'm going to type in ocean so it's going to give me all the photos that are tagged with ocean so that's how you would use those stock photos next we're going to be looking at the background icon so when you select that it's going to give you a bunch of different photos you can use for a background for example, I'm gonna select this one. And if you notice that I'm not able to move it around because it automatically locks it as a background, but you can always unlock it by selecting the unlock button over on the layers panel. And then you're able to scale it to the size of your template. So next we're gonna move on to the patterns icon. So this one has got to be my favorite one. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm just gonna make the template a little bit smaller so we can get a better view of it. So you can scale that image to whatever size and then you wanna click on repeat on background. So this is going to multiply the image at that size so it can fit the page. So for example, this one made four different images of this one and it connected it together to make a repeat background. But say you wanted a smaller scale of it. So you just make your image smaller and then select repeat on background and it gives you the same seamless pattern but with a smaller scale and this is really good like if you're doing tumblers um, because you know tumbler makers we all use vinyl and we always use the pattern vinyl so doing this you're able to make your own pattern vinyls and they have so many different pictures so for example let's do a different one let's do this red hearts so we have this one selected at this size so next we're just gonna select the repeat on background and it's going to multiply it. I think this one was, yeah, four different times and it put it together to make that seamless pattern. So let's take a look at it if we wanted to make it smaller and how it would look like. So I did try to make it like super small but I wasn't able to make it, it wouldn't let me. So I made it a little bit bigger so then I put repeat on background, so, and then it made a bunch of different ones at this scale. So you're able to scale it to different sizes to whatever one you like. So this patterns feature, this one was my favorite because I make a lot of tumblers with epoxy and sublimation. So with this feature, I'm able to create my own design. So that's amazing. Next, they have an upload section. So you're able to upload your images and use them on your template. 
Next, they have the draw section. So with this one, you're able to draw and freehand your own designs. I am not the best artist, so I was just playing around with the different markers and the different tools that they had. And there's also four different options to adjust the sizing of the drawing tool. Then you can select the pointer section so you're able to select it and move them around or just delete them if you want to. Or you can select the eraser to delete. You just swipe over them and they will all delete in one swipe. Next, we're gonna go up to where it says Spark AI and this is the artificial intelligence. So it has a text box and you're gonna type and describe what you want it to make and it's gonna make it for you. So for example, I'm gonna type in cat on the beach and then we're going to create image and it's gonna create an image of cat on the beach. So it's gonna give me four different options. So here's uh, a couple that they gave me and let's try a different one. Uh, we'll type in girl drinking coffee. And then it gave us four different images of girls drinking coffee and this is clip art. So you click it and it's a PNG so there's a transparent background, it's not the black background. Next, let's play around with another template. Let's do a party invitation. So let's select um, this one right here where it says Olivia's ninth birthday. And then we're gonna add it as a new design. So here is my template of my birthday invitation and you can see that it has all the layers on the right side. And then if you wanna adjust something, you just simply select it and then you just type in your details and you can also change the color, change the font, change whatever you want. And if you don't like that image in the center, you can just take it out. So hit backspace to remove it. And then you're gonna go on graphics and then search something that you like. So for example, I'm gonna type in rainbow butterfly. And then I'm just gonna scroll down and find something that I like. And I'm just gonna click this rainbow um, butterfly. And then we're also able to scale it to adjust the size of it and just basically edit everything that you want it to be like your style. And this is amazing because you can make your own kids birthday party invitation, wedding invitation, baby shower, you name it. You can do everything with this software. Now I'm gonna stop playing with this invitation and now we're gonna work on making a Tumblr template. So I'm just gonna go back to a blank template which was my letter size paper. And we're just gonna make something simple, something cute. I'm gonna go over to graphics and I'm gonna type in floral frame. So then I'm just gonna search and find something that I like. And when I'm making designs, it takes me forever because I love everything. I love all the designs and it makes it so hard to choose. And this studio software has so many cute designs making it so difficult for me. So I'm just gonna pick something, let's see. We'll select this frame right here. It has, it's a watercolor. I love the purples, the pinks, the teals, the flowers. It fits my theme. So we're gonna go with the watercolor frame. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can get a full view of my paper. And then we're gonna go on to text. So I'm gonna select heading and I am going to type in mama. Next, I'm able to adjust the spacing in the middle of where it says mama. So you select that T with the arrows and where it says line spacing, we're just going to adjust that to what we like. So I made my letters a little bit closer because they were too spaced apart. And next, we're going to find a font that we like. So I'm just gonna keep looking and find the perfect font that I like. Okay, I like this one. So next we're just going to adjust the size. So we can either drag the box to make it bigger or we can adjust that numbers. So we can hit the minus or the plus to adjust the font size. Next, we're gonna go over to the background icon and we're gonna select something that's similar to a watercolor. So I'm gonna type in soft watercolor and I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna give me everything that's tagged with watercolor or soft watercolor. So I'm just gonna scroll down and find something that I like. So we're gonna go with this soft purple one, I like it. So I'm gonna click on it 
and the background ones always lock it automatically so we're just going to select that little lock button on the side to unlock it and then we're just going to adjust the image to our um, template size Next, I'm gonna go over to the graphics section and I'm just gonna play around and fill the rest of the Tumblr with different types of graphics. So I selected this butterfly and I'm just going to adjust the size and then I'm gonna show you how you're able to rotate it and flip it. So it has these little triangle buttons so you're able to flip it vertically or flip it horizontally and then you're also able to rotate it with the little arrows button. So there's just different ways you can play around with it. Next, I'm just going to fast forward this part so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to fill the rest of the page with different types of graphics. And then I'm just going to play around with the different sizes, rotating, flipping. So this is all the time that it takes to design something. So it's not hard to do. This software is very, very easy. It's very beginner friendly. Um, just the hardest part, or not even hard, it takes a while like adjusting them and just finding it how you like it, you know? So if, when I'm making my stuff, I'm always like, oh, maybe I can move this one a little bit more that way, make it smaller. So that is like the hardest part that you have to do. But then again, that is not even hard. It just takes time. But um, it's really fun designing and creating your own thing. That way you can look at it and be like, I made that, I made that from scratch. And I think that's just like the best feeling because I made this design and I put it on a Tumblr and I was like, I made that and I'm bragging about it. I made that. Yeah, you can buy different designs, but knowing that you made that, <laughs> it just hits different, you know? So now that I'm done with my design, I'm going to rename it. So at the top, you just select that, erase where it says untitled, and then just type in whatever you're saving it as. And then you're gonna select those um, three little bars and you're gonna hit save. So then when you, go, when you go home, you're able to see your projects on your recent projects. So it's gonna be saved there. Next, if you wanna download it to your computer so you're able to print it, you're gonna select those three bars again. You're gonna select download and then download again. And for a print, for a sublimation print, I'm going to save it as a PDF. And that's how I always print my sublimation designs. I save them as a PDF. And once it's done saving, it drops it down for me on my computer. And I'm just gonna select open file and here it is, my design is finished. So I'm gonna print that out and I'm gonna put it on a Tumblr and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And like always, here is the finished look. I really love my design. I'm so happy that, you know, I was able to make it from scratch and you guys can too. You're, you're able to make your own designs, print them out and say, hey, I made that, like literally made that. So here it is. All my prints came out super vibrant. Studio was super, super easy to use. I feel like it was very beginner friendly. And since it's new, there wasn't much graphics, but like with everything that's new, they're gonna be coming out with more graphics, more designs, more templates. So you guys stay tuned for that. I know they're gonna be adding more. I would love to know your thoughts on Creative Fabrica Studio. Like, have you guys tried it out yet? Did you guys even know Creative Fabrica had a designing software? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you guys watched until the end, thank you so, so, so much. Show me by putting butterfly and flowers down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really, really helps my channel grow. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.